Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can color grade your photos in Adobe Photoshop. Typically I would use Adobe Lightroom, but I know a lot of people use Photoshop more than Lightroom. So if you're already using it or you only have Photoshop, um, here's a tutorial for you. I'm going to use one of my old concert photos and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to edit it. Uh, we're going to do color correction, then color grading. And I'm actually going to use something called gradient maps that I don't think a lot of people know about or haven't used in their color grading. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get straight into it. So right here, we got a photo of a cowboy. This is like two weeks ago, probably I took this. Um, we're gonna do color correction first. So typically when it comes to color correction, um, I use curves and I use color balance. So for curves, um, uh, alternative to it is brightness and contrast, if you don't know how to use this, because it looks a little bit weird, right? Um, let me just break it down really quickly. So if you make a point in the middle and you drag down, it basically decreases the brightness and going up does the opposite, it increases the brightness. So I would go down here. The point at the top, if you lower it, the highlights go down. So you can see the white parts get duller. And if you raise the bottom part, the shadows go up. So you can see the dark parts get a little brighter or faded. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually make another point here and kind of bend it so that it makes like an S shape and raise this a little so it's a little bit faded and lower this a little bit. So you can see just based off of that, you can see what that does. And then let's go to color balance. And all I'm going to do is go to midtones and make it a little bit cooler. That's about it. So you can see if I group this and call it like color correction, you can see what that does. So right off the bat, that's pretty simple. Um, the reason I'm able to do this is because my photo is like flat, like it doesn't have a lot of saturation and contrast to begin with. And that's because I shoot on manual and on a flat color profile. If you're shooting on auto on your camera, it's going to look like this or something like this um, right off the bat. So you don't really have a lot of flexibility in terms of editing. So I would just pay attention to that. So once we're done that, we're actually going to use gradient maps. Um, I don't think a lot of people know about it. Um, basically, it's a bunch of these presets that you can apply. So most of these presets have like two points. So the point on the left right here basically applies the colors to the dark areas and the point right here applies this color to the brighter areas. So if we're using this one, for example, um, the purple is where like his sweater is, which his sweater was black to begin with. So that's why the purple is being applied to that area because it's darker and and his face is orange because um, his face is brighter than the rest of the subject in like the, the photo. So if you go through these, the ones that look somewhat normal are the ones where orange is on the right side. And the reason why this is, is because orange is very similar to a skin tone. So if they're applying orange to the skin tone, it doesn't look that off. But if you're applying like blue to a skin tone, it doesn't look that normal. And the more colors you add, the more complicated it gets. So I wouldn't really recommend to do that many. I would do three max when it comes to color grading. Typically gradient maps aren't even used for color grading. So that's the reason I would uh, limit it. So black and white is very simple, like it looks pretty nice. Um, so what we're going to do before we actually start and before we um, select our colors is we want to go to normal or like we want to go to the blend modes and we want to select soft light. The reason we want to do this is because the gradient maps are pretty harsh, like as you know, like and you just want to add a subtle effect. So changing the blend mode will do that. So I selected a soft light. You guys can actually choose any of these, but some of them are harsher than others, as you can see. So I personally think soft light's the best. So if you guys want to just go through a preset, you can do that. I believe people actually sell presets just for this type of thing, like just for particular types of skin tones and color grading. There's probably like packs of gradient maps. If you guys find any, you can just press load and then open it up here. But yeah, uh, we selected this one right here. And this looks pretty good in my opinion. The only thing is it looks a little bit too orange on his skin. Ideally, you want to select um, like a yellowish because that's like the skin tone a lot of times. So some somewhere like around this, where it's like a goldish color. And this side really depends on what type of look you're going for. If you want it to be cooler or warmer. So if we drag this around, you can see what that does. You also want to keep this darker a lot of times because it is applying to the darker areas. Like if you do this, it doesn't look that good. And you can cycle through the colors, obviously. So essentially you're applying um, this color to the shadows and you're applying the other color to the highlights. So I think this looks good right here. And if we group all of these together, you can see what that does. Now, the only issue I have is like the face is a little bit too bright. Um, so what we can do is go back to the curves, just adjust that a bit. I think this was a little bit too harsh right here. And now we're just going to do a little bit of cropping because he's not really in the center. 
and there's too much other space um you can see the top part um is kind of dominating with just nothing like there's nothing here so we can actually crop in and the instagram uh, crop ratio if you're uploading this on instagram is four by five or eight by ten so we're just gonna crop in a little just trying to make him in the center i think he's still a little bit too low and it's a little bit too much on the right side now so okay yeah there you go and the great thing about photoshop that you can't do on lightroom is you can actually add like fake lighting um so you can use these brushes so i usually use the soft round brush um basically it's just a brush that has zero hardness so i'm going to increase it i'm going to make a new layer i'm going to select white and what you can do is add fake lighting sometimes it'll look better sometimes it won't but typically i just add like a thing in the corner or something like that and if it's too harsh you can decrease it a little and you can even add like other colors in it right so you can add like purple i'm gonna add pink because there's not a lot of pink so you can just add it in the corner right here i don't know if it actually looks better the options there if you use photoshop and then you can go through the blend modes to make it a little bit more like authentic so it looks something like this will look better than no blend mode because it kind of adjusts to the lighting so i think like something like that and the final touches is um, we're going to select white and we're going to make a smaller brush and if you want to emphasize a certain part of the photo, what you can do is just select on it. So like his watch maybe, and maybe like some of the light right here. And you wanna change the blend mode to overlay. Basically that part will get brighter. So yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, we can do a before and after right now. So you can see what that does. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.